We're back for episode three of the Iron World Cup. Today we've got the TaylorMade Sim 2 going head to head against the Cobra Rad Speed. Now when it comes to looks, obviously there's a pretty big difference in terms of style in here, but then when you strip it back to just the shaping, there's not actually that much difference. In terms of offset and blade length are very similar, and also in terms of sole width, although I would say there is a little bit more camber both on the back and on the toe of the Cobra. Then when you put these down over the ball, we see some more differences here. The top line of the Cobra actually includes this carbon fibre insert, which definitely looks pretty different to what I'm used to seeing on an iron, so you really need to decide if that's for you or not, but I would say visually for me it does make the top line look a bit smaller, which I definitely do like. Right, let's go hit some shots. I think I'm going to start with the Cobra first. First shot off the bat and it's flown over 160 yards, which I'm pretty pleased with, and it felt really good as well. Distance seems to have been pretty consistent so far. On the line. <laughs> that went so straight. Interestingly, the other ones were all a little bit right by us to start with. I'm not sure if that's because I have a really thick grip on this compared to what I'm used to. I'm really impressed with just how consistent the trajectory in the ball flight has been for all of these so far. Overall, I was pretty impressed with the performance there. The distance came out at 166 yards, which is definitely long for me on average with a 7 iron. Now, this was also balanced out with really good dispersion numbers. I had four straight down the middle, three that missed slightly left, and three that missed slightly right. But typically for me, this is definitely more neutral than I would normally see, because typically my miss is more to the left. When we look at the ball flight, these were launching at 20 degrees, which is pretty good for a 7 iron. I also had a really nice high ball flight and a really good descent angle, so that's definitely going to help you with that stopping power, especially given the spin was quite low in this model. So let's go hit the Sim 2 and see what the big differences are. That was extremely straight for my first shot out of the blocks, but it did look like it flew a little bit lower than the Cobra. Oh, striped that. That started flying a little bit higher now as well, actually. The direction of these has been ridiculously consistent so far. So I was right about the height differences there. The Sim 2 was launching slightly lower and also had a slightly lower peak height. But interestingly, it still had almost identical descent angle to the rad speed, which means you're still going to get that really nice soft landing on the green. Now a big difference we saw here was that these were spinning over a thousand RPM more than we saw with the rad speed, which is definitely one variable that affected the distance here. These averaged out at 161 yards, so they were flying five yards shorter than the Cobras. Now I must add here, these have a degree less loft than we see in the Cobras, so these are set 28.5 for your 7 iron compared to 27.5 in the Cobras. So that's definitely one of the factors that's affecting the difference in distance here. Now in terms of dispersion, I'm pretty surprised because normally I find Tillamid irons draw a little bit more, but actually it was almost identical to the Cobra. It was very neutral and if anything there was more shots right of the target than left. When we're comparing the dispersion of the two models, 
Really, there isn't anything to pick them both apart. They had almost identical width in terms of dispersion, and even front to back dispersion was very similar. I think the sim was like one yard better on front to back, so really not much to pick them apart there. I would say though in terms of consistency, the Cobra was flying a more consistent ball flight throughout, whereas there was a bit more variability with the sim too. Okay, so in terms of ball flight, consistency and dispersion, there wasn't really that much to pick these two apart with there, but because the Cobra was travelling an extra 5 yards, I think it's going to have to clinch the victory here. Right, that's all for today. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications too. If you have any questions about either of these irons, feel free to drop them in the comments below or drop me a line on Twitter or Instagram. I've also done full reviews of both of these irons so you can head to the equipment playlist on our homepage to find out more. And if you're after more golf content, head to the National Club Golfer social media channels for more.